द प्रकाश मेथड ऑफ रिडक्शन ऑफ शोल्डर डिसलोकेशन द पेशेंट इज सीटेड ऑन अ चेयर द बैक इज स्टेबलाइज सो दैट द स्कैपोला इज फिक्सड द आर्म इज जेंटली एक्सटर्नली रोटेटेड to the maximum extent possible once it is fully externally rotated it is held in external rotation for one full minute and at this stage when the capsular button hole tear is wide open to accept the head to roll back in we gently adduct ad duct the shoulder and internally rotate so that the palm touches the opposite shoulder only the dramatic relief on the patient's face tells us that the shoulder has been reduced there are no clicks or clunks by this procedure you can see the same procedure being performed at another center here to the shoulder is externally rotated and once in full external rotation held in position for a full minute and as the subscapular is relaxes and the capsular button hole opens it becomes ready to accommodate the head which slides in without clicks or clunks like knife through butter we then very gently ad adduct ad duct the arm and at the same time gradually internally rotate the arm so that the palm touches the opposite shoulder sustained external rotation is the key for a successful reduction by this method where we do not need either an assistant or and anesthetic to date over 20000 shoulders have been reduced by the prakash method the world over in various hospitals by various doctors who have found uniform and consistent results steps again external rotation adduction internal rotation and the shoulder goes back in with the patient giving a dramatic smile once again sustain gentle external rotation holding the shoulder in external rotation then ad ducting adducting the shoulder by crossing the elbow over the chest wall while we simultaneously internally rotate the shoulder by touching the palm on the opposite shoulder it is even possible to tell the exact time when the head goes back in by the dramatic smile and relief relief on the patient's face the last case once again demonstrates the technique sitting patient back stabilized external rotation held in sustained external rotation arm is then adducted ad ducted so that the elbow crosses the chest and simultaneously using the forearm as a lever arm 
the shoulder is internally rotated so that the palm touches the opposite shoulder and the head glides into the socket with majestic elegance without sounds clicks and clunk this works in most shoulders and to date very few failures have been encountered by this method so much so that in many accident and emergency centers and casualty departments photographs and videos of this maneuver are displayed prominently for the residents to follow not a day passes without receiving congratulatory messages from the world over thank you